when Russell Coleman walked through these doors to take on that role back in 2017, he considered it the biggest honor of his professional career. So walking out next week and leaving it all behind, he says, won't be easy. I knew the nature of this role is you're a, you're a temporary operator. You're here for a short period of time. So there's a sense of urgency, a fire that's lit under you to have an impact. One day after announcing his resignation, Russell Coleman, appointed the U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Kentucky by President Trump, is reflecting on his time in office. He prides himself on having spent significant time in all 53 counties he represented, but said Tuesday much work remains to be done, specifically in Louisville. The Metro saw a record 173 homicides last year and already 11 in the new year. It is incredibly convicting to leave this office and not having brought down those numbers. We have done new things. We've innovated. Efforts included increasing federal gun prosecution by almost 70 percent. And several new programs were halted by COVID-19, including establishing a group intervention program to target the small percentage of those committing crimes, which will get underway later this year. Coleman says he remains hopeful, not just for the city, but for victims' families. He's met with many of those families repeatedly over the years, including the widow and two sons of murdered Bardstown police officer Jason Ellis. Coleman has worn this bracelet since taking office, vowing never to forget and to solve the case. Is it hard to reach out to, to Mrs. Ellis and tell her that I didn't honor my promise, that I didn't bring justice to her family? Yes, yes it is, and I leave this this office convicted by that fact. He promises there's movement in that case and the disappearance of Crystal Rogers, pointing to multiple searches done in Bardstown last year. After dedicating a single prosecutor to work just those cases, he's optimistic a new administration will prioritize them. Coleman is confident the work he started will continue and the justice he promised will be realized. It is an extraordinary honor to serve here and I look forward as someone that will be a beneficiary of the men and women of federal law enforcement to cheer them on from the sidelines. Lauren Adams, WLKY.